Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Friday Fright. And this week we are going to be playing Curse of the Aztecs. Now, <laughs> I'm quite interested in this game. It's, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be good, unlike last week's entry, which was pizza delivery. Ugh. Oh god, that game was awful. But no, Curse of the Aztecs hopefully is going to be a much, much better game. Now, this game was the final year project of a group of four students from the University for the Creative Fine Arts in Farnham. And it took them a I believe seven months to make, if I'm remembering the information from their website correctly now. And uh, the game, well, basically the plot of the game is you play as Marshall Sullivan, an archaeologist. So this, of course, speaks to me since that is what my degree is in. <laughs> and uh, you are basically rivals with this other archaeologist, Charles Galloway, and he Charles Galloway finds some lost temple of the Aztecs, and there's all these myths and everything that surround it, and you believe that it is your duty to go there and prove those myths and legends wrong, basically to shame Galloway. I mean, he is your rival. That's what you gotta do. Publish and perish, all that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah, they, they build this game as basically a game with no scripted scares, that every time you play it, it's going to be different, which definitely intrigues me. Uh, a big problem with a lot of horror games, especially indie horror games, is they are just so scripted. You play them once, and you have no point to ever play it again, but this one is supposed to be a non-scripted, a different experience every time. So I'm just gonna quickly jump in here and look to see if there are any options. We only seem to be able to change sensitivity here. No rebinding of keys, but hey, since you're just walking around. Oh, and hey, we can crouch in this one. Excellent. Oh, and hey, there's a map. Cool. I always like having a map. But yeah, that uh, very basic controls, not a whole lot you can do. But hopefully they use it well to scare you. So there is a tutorial you can skip, but I haven't played this game yet, besides just jumping in real quick to, t uh, to uh, check recording settings. But, uh, yeah, actually, let's look at this real quick. So, ooh, that takes up a bit more of the screen than it should. But yes, these are the people that worked on it. Give them a little credit. Hello, guys. So, yes, it is a four-student team. I was correct on that. Oh, though they have voice actors. Uh, a one voice actor. And, of course, testers. Uh, we don't care about testers. What's this gallery? Oh. Ooh, that kind of goes off the screen there. That's one small issue. Oh, so it's like all the concept art for the game. That's cool that they include that in here. Oh. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay, this may be potential spoilers for the coming game, so let's not stare too long at that gallery. And yeah, let's just jump into these supposedly non-scripted scares, and... Wow, jumping in, and... Whoa. This game looks absolutely beautiful, though. What the... It feels like my Y-axis sensitivity did change, but... My X-axis one did not. It's like I said, I jumped in the game just real quick to check recording settings and things like that. That's why I upped that sensitivity a little bit. This is way too sensitive on the vertical. I'm gonna just go back to the main menu real quick. Sorry for this. And uh, the x-axis, we need more. Yeah, yeah, that... Well, let's bring it back a bit. There we go. Hopefully that works out well. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's better. Still not great, but I can deal with this. So yes, let's check. Whoa, what the? Ah, uh, yes, so notes will provide details of what's happened, and when you hit sprint... Ooh, screen goes really blurry. 
kind of weird. Okay. Let's check out this note. This appears to be Galloway's writing. Ah. You and I go back a long way, Marshal. So we do. I know we've never seen eye to eye, but you must listen to me. We were both wrong, Marshal. Oh, were we? This temple redefines everything we've come to understand about Aztec culture, but you must leave. The staff. It is the key. The key to if what? If you're reading this, the doors are sealed behind you. Well, that's not good. You must descend to the heart of the temple and retrieve his staff. His staff is the key. Bring it to these doors, Marshal. It is the only way you can escape. Okay, so we have our goal for the game. That's nice. I like how they present that in just a note here, though. Can I leave it if I click? And Oh, okay, you move away from the note. So, yes, we did uh, have this door close on us, I guess. It's just, you know, closed. So, yeah, I guess we only have one choice. Just to delve into the temple. I'm excited about this. I'm looking forward to this game. After the... Ugh. Ugh, the game last week. Hey, just... I need a good game here. Oh, we can light the torches. Cool, that's nice. That is a good feature. Can we... No, we can't get under that. Ah. Alright. So we can only go this way. We'll shift to run. Okay. Looks like we got a small texture issue there. Nothing too bad. Alright. Oh, that's good that it is running you through some... T -t -t wait. Maybe they should have had him crouch a little more. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Interactive objects. Alright. Ooh, another note. Let's check the note. Maybe it this explains what we have to do. This place is incredible. I find myself in sheer awe of its magnificence. I can't just sit here and wait for the archaeological team. I'm standing in the greatest discovery of ancient history. I simply can't remain idle. I must press on. Fair no enough. surprise there, Galloway. Well, it's not like you waited either, man, so you can't really judge him. <laughs> Ooh, shiny glowy thing. Let's avoid the shiny glowy thing for now, because I have a feeling the shiny glowy thing is not going to go well for us. So, let's check out this thing here. What do I do? Alright, so it is a puzzle-ish thing. A very slow moving puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless, I guess. Okay, and now the green one. One more. What'd that do? Is that far enough? Oh, now it's too far. Oh. Well. I have no idea what this does. <laughs> so, let's ignore it for now. Oh, this goes deeper down. And uh, I guess we should check out the shiny glowy thing. I'm intrigued by that. Hello? Oh, it's just a light. Okay. Fair enough. Can I pick it up? It's a nicer light than a torch. It's actually an electric light, rather than just wandering around with this. But okay, okay. I'm not gonna complain. At least I have some form of light here. So, delving deeper into the temple it is. Excellent, another the lamp. Triggering traps? Oh, I'm guessing the thing with the skull on the floor. Let's not go- Oh, it's both ways. And I can't jump. Oh, there's spikes in the wall. I see it already. <laughs> ah! Okay. Where are you? Oh, lovely skulls. This game does look very nice. Definitely gotta give props to these students, man. They did a very nice job on this. What is all this? Liar, liar, liar. But I don't see any pants on fire, so... Can't be all that bad. Oh god, that was a horrible joke. <laughs> I am safe up here. Alright, we got another light. What's that? Uh, okay. More liar, liar. 
What's that noise? Oh, it's a radio. Uh, I am Galloway. I am Galloway. I am him. Well, that's not creepy at all. Yeah, this is a little interesting. Don't something something more liar, liar, liar. Alright, let's light this torch here. And check out this direction. I have a feeling it leads back to the same place where we were. Yep. Oh wait, what's this? He hasn't found me. Alright. A little hard to read. But when you're smearing chalk on a wall... Oh, that sound scares me. <laughs> Alright, so... Ooh, what's this? Wow. Wow, that's Charles Galloway, huh? That's our rival. <laughs> uh, nice, okay. Uh, anything else interesting? Okay, rise, lord. Leave, go away. I can't until I find that staff. Can we just take a nap with a sleeping bag? Could be fun. You know, nice little sleep. Always nice. All right, let's check I out the notes. I've taken a few artifacts and jewels back to base camp. Some of the treasures in here are beautiful. I could write a whole book on their incredible craftsmanship. I'm sure you could. Yeah, and then put his strange face on it, like on that one. All right, let's see if we can open this thing. Yeah, back away. Okay. What? What? What just happened? We flashed. Um. Let's try it again. And let's actually stay close by at this time. Alright, so me backing away thinking something was going to come out at me. Not good. <laughs> oh, hey guy, how's it going? Uh, doing well, I see. Alright, um... Okay, so we have a score of 10 for opening a door. Any lamps I can set in here. Oh, that's... That's lovely. Oh, God, creepy voices. Okay, let's... Come on, find a torch or something that we can put on a... or a light on the wall. Very nice detail in this game. I'm definitely enjoying all of you. Got the roots, the skulls, excellent. We have a lamp. It's always nice. Oh, I saw my hand on something. There we go. Let's let's keep going around here for a bit, though, around the perimeter. So we have a light of some form. Apparently a doorway. Let's explore a bit more, though, before we try and go in it. What's that? I see a strange light in there. And this dead ends. Alright, through here then. It's kinda getting a little bit more what was that? It's kinda getting a bit more creepy in here now. Oops, some sort of altar. Lovely. Okay. Crazy Aztecs and their party you know, partying, it's just Whew. Definitely wouldn't have wanted to be that guy, but what was that? Huh. Man, I wish I could find more. Ah, trap. Let's avoid that. Ow, another trap. Man. Okay, I'm going to go back around this way. I really don't want to get shot by those things. Glad I saw those. Ooh. What's all this? Ooh. Coins that we can pick up. Oh man, there's collectibles. <laughs> I'm doomed. <laughs> Alright. Definitely a very nice, creepy atmosphere, but I'm not really getting quite scared yet. But then again, still aren't exactly far into things. I didn't miss a lamp on the wall or anything, did I? No. Whoop! Trap. Ah! Oh god! Oh, hey! Hey, buddy! Oh my god! 
Oh, the skeletons are coming to life. Oh, that's not good. Um, what do I do? What do I do here? I have no idea what I do. Uh, can I lose them? Oh, no, no, they're still coming after me. Or are they? Oh, jeez, I don't... Oh, man. That was a good scare. I didn't expect the skeletons to come to life. Now I have to avoid them. Ah, oh, man. Oh, another door, and this one's green. Glowing green things is generally not good in horror games. I'm gonna back away from that skeleton. Ah, here's another... Oh, creepy voices. Oh, oh god, a trap! Possibly, or it was just something trying to scare me, and it did! It successfully did! Where'd those things go? Or not things, skeletons. I don't know, but let's try this thing again. Okay. Yeah, see, the green one doesn't exactly go in line. See, it, it's off kilter, and if I hit it again, it's gonna be off kilter over here. Hmm. Where'd those... Oh, did the skeletons fall apart? Well, that's good to know. Okay. Ooh. More things I can take. Dig it. Oh, I got a lamp. Excellent. Ah, I don't want to go by the skeletons. Alright. Got a big open area here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> it wasn't entirely explained too well. I know I'm supposed to make my way down. What was that? Alright, let's keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, another trap. Run through! Huh, it didn't set off. Oh, and I'm glad it didn't. I didn't realize it was in the roof. Oh, man, that could have been real bad. Let's light up this. Ooh, what was that? This really is a beautiful game. I hope these guys got a good grade for this project. <laughs> ah! Right. Oh, jeez. What in the world was that? It wasn't a trap, so it was just a random scare. Okay. Oh, we got another note. Excellent. And coins. It's just outside. I can hear it. It's waiting for me. Oh, uh, that's not unnerving or anything. So what, did he hide in here and it came after him? What is it? Okay, let's see. We got another one of these things. I'm still not entirely sure what they are. Or what I'm supposed to be doing with them. I'm assuming align them with their button, but... Honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> Alright, one more on that, and then let's move this one around. I'm probably doing the completely wrong thing with these, and... Still have no clue as to what their importance is, but I can move them, and thus I must. It it, it just has to be done. Oh, uh, what was that? Okay, going under here. All right, I see torchlight over there. That means I've been that way. It's good to know, ah, skeleton. This way. I don't need another one of those coming to life. That creeped me out. <laughs> Ooh, another hole in the wall. With nothing. Okay. 
I have a feeling that with the whole procedural scare part, that that note could possibly be in there too. The one that we just found a moment ago. Okay, ah, it's the door with the skeleton. Hmm. Well, I know I can lose the skeleton, so let's run by him. Hey, wait, okay, I guess not all of them come to life. All right, let's hit this door. Let's see where we head to now. Uh, oh. We're here. Back where we started. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> let's go back in. <laughs> I didn't think that that was that door. All right, so I need to go this way because there was the other door over here. So that's why that skeleton didn't come to life, I bet ya. So, yeah, let's try this door. <laughs> Alrighty. He will slow you down. Who is he? And why does that unsettle me? <laughs> Alright, so I have a score of 55 right now. Ah, that one took a while to load compared to the others. Hello again. Ah! Anything here I can take? No, no collectibles. I hear growling, and I don't like growling. It's never a good sign. Okay. Things seem to be getting a bit more hairy down here. Ah! Darn gas. Okay. Ah! Stop doing that! Alright, yeah, definitely getting a little nervous now in here. So I'm just basically looting this place while trying to... Shame a fellow archaeologist. Oh, that's going to open and kill me, isn't it? Yep, I'm not going to chance it. <laughs> Let's head back this way. Oh, a skeleton. Oh, he didn't come to life. That's good. Uh. Not seeing any torches around here either. All right, another door. Excellent. Now let's look over here for ah skeleton. Oh, oh god, what's that? What's that? Why? Why did my torch go purple? Oh god, running, 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 running. Running. I probably should just go hit that door. Ah, I can't run anymore. Come on, run, run, you fool. Oh, God. oh! Oh, hey! Hey, how are you? Okay, so you can't go down that way. Ha! I've kited him! Whatever that thing is, I have kited him to where he cannot go, because he cannot crouch. That's good to know. So let's go down, quickly, before the skeleton gets me! Alright, I heard him behind me. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so green orbs indicate a door to the previous area. That would have been good to see before. <laughs> that way I wouldn't have gone backwards. Alright, come on. It seems that as you go deeper down, it seems to get longer to load. Huh, interesting. Alright, we have two ways to go. Let's head this way. Ah, oh, ow. I didn't see the trap till it was too late. Hello, skeleton. Ah. Ooh, coins. What was that? Alright, more looting. Always good. 
Stop that. Okay, the gas thing is starting to just get a bit annoying, whatever it is. <laughs> Alright, creepy sounds, excellent. And the door to the next area. And the gas has now officially lost its scare value. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I forgot I have a map. <laughs> There's that tab. Let's try, let's check that out when this level loads here. Come on. Yeah, definitely taking longer to load. A little bit more. You can do it. Or you can... Oh, no, not first. Did... Did I just die while it loaded? Montezuma's I did! The last ruler of the Aztec Empire. <laughs> he was a narcissistic... <laughs> okay, so I died while it was loading the new area. The <sighs> the demise of Montezuma and his empire. So okay, so yeah, this is the, the story to it all. Um, I'm just going to skip through and go back to the loading screen. So yes, apparently the game is a little cheap and will kill you while it's still loading the new level. That I'm not too pleased with. But other than that, it definitely does seem like a fun game. Uh, it is free, so it is definitely worth a go. And I am amazed that this is just the work of four students for their final project. I can only imagine what these guys could do with a proper budget and time. Uh, I, I really do wish and hope for and foresee great things for these guys. They did an amazing job on this. Few little things with the game, but again, it's a free game made by students for their final project. There is definitely some leeway to be given. <laughs> so, but yeah, I definitely enjoyed it very creepy that monster and I, I kind of was afraid of him at first until I figured out that I could duck under a low wall and he would get stuck so <laughs> if they plan on moving forward with this game and improving it I don't know if they are or not but if they did perhaps some better pathfinding for the monster and less of that gas because eventually it seems to lose its scare value and of course fix the whole part of dying on a loading screen. <laughs> Other than that, it was a very fun game. I I definitely would like to play through it more, and will play through it more uh, on this week's live stream. I'm sorry I didn't have one last week, but the issues with my recording software sort of snowballed over into my broadcast software, and I was unable to do so. But I will be streaming this. I'm going to try and play through it again. Hopefully this time I don't get killed on a loading screen. Come on, at least have a monster kill me while I'm trying to run from him or fall into a trap that I wasn't looking at. But, yeah, I'll try and finish it there. I don't know if I will or not, but I'm looking forward to it. This is very fun. I'd say give it a look. Uh, link will be in the description so you can check it out. I, of course, hope you all have enjoyed this. And that you come back for next week's game, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet for that one, but I'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments. I would love to hear about any other new indie games or new indie horrors, well, indie horrors or any other horror games uh, that perhaps I don't know about. So, yes, thank you for watching, and as always, my friends, have a good one.